in here and show you that we are in sector 5 now. Okay, we started sector 5. Ah, yeah, yeah, we left at the store. I remember now. I remember now. Uh, we had a decision to make what to do with our 134 scraps that we saved up. And we have a quest at the, at the end of this sector. I'm not sure which quest that was, though. Uh, we are in the anti homeworld, so I guess it's the anti quest. Oh, excellent. So let's have let us have a look at the store. There was not much in here. Just hacking, just hacking could be one thing that I could buy. But no, I'm not going with ha hacking. I could sell my iron blast too. Look at this long range scanners, salt and shield. Oh, I didn't even mention the long range scanners at the start. I got the long range scanners in a shop in sector one, and they I immediately paid off. It's so great. This run, dudes. If I if I f this up, it's totally my fault. So I get 34 scraps on top of that if I sell the Iron Blast. Actually, you know, guys, you know what I could do? I could um, go for a very early uh, level 4 shields. <laughs> oh man, this might be a thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm selling the Iron Blast too. There you go. I am not buying anything. Not going for hacking right now. I have 7 lasers at my disposal. That should be enough. For now, in Sector 5. Shiroko says, time to dominate the galaxy, Jordi. Listen to the lamentations of the women. I shall. I shall dominate this, this galaxy here. This is one of the rare parallel universes where I actually have a say in. Uh, Skymonkey says, I'm freaking ready! I have chips and iced tea! This will be an awesome stream. Yes, it will. This, that, that's the spirit, Scout Monkey. That's the spirit. Hello, Hovinal. Did I say Hovinal to you? Ah, yeah, there you go. You came in there. Say uh, hello. Thank you for joining us today. It, sh it will be a great stream, just as Scout Monkey said. <laughs> Chiroko says uh, to Scout Monkey, Lord Scout Monkey, give me some. You get your own chips. This reminds me of one of the Mr. Bean episodes. <laughs> if you guys remember Mr. Bean, you are really old. Um, one of these uh, British comedians. Um, but Mr. Bean is his, his stage name, right? And they, he was going with his uh, 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 girlfriend to, uh, to the movies. And he was like always grabbing her popcorn and stuff like that. And when she wanted to return the favor, he was slapping her hands and no! These are mine. That's so great. It's my. It's so. It's so easy. So easy humor, but I was laughing hard when that happened. Nah, <laughs> Chiwoku remembers Mr. Bean is really old. Oh, I. Well, I didn't mean it that way. I'm not old. I'm gray. Okay, Hovinal. Okay, we are not old then. We are just. We are knowledgeable. We know our Rowan Atkinsons. Yes, Dark Nazi. You are. Uh. Also knowledgeable. The film was awful, but I, yeah, yes and no. I was entertained by it, and I actually liked. Um, ah, I don't know the the actor's name, but he played um, in Twenty Four as well. In Twenty Four season, was it six, where um, Wayne Palmer was the president? He played Tom, security advisor of, to, of the president. That actor was also in Mr. Bean movie, and I liked him there. I liked the actor. I said Mr. Bean attached, and it got deleted. What? <laughs> Skull Monkey? No, really? I think uh, Mubot thinks uh, Mr. Bean together is a is a link or something. <laughs> Sorry, Skull Monkey. It's Mubot again. And with that, I want to also say hello, Dark Nasa. Of course, thank you for joining us today. And it's great that you are here. Devin's here. Yes, I think he was also in Ali McBeal. Yeah, I guess. Uh, if I would hear his his uh, his name, I would immediately know. But why don't we go and play some FTL, guys? Chat is so random, says Chiroko. Alright, 
So, uh, store. We are not going to buy anything else here. We just sold our iron weapon and let's move on. So how is the plan here actually? Ah yeah, we, there is no connection to the upper part of this universe. So we better go here. Hmm. To the quest and then this and this and then to the exit. Yeah, okay. Let's fight! Let's demonstrate the offensive power of my... Weapon systems. Oh, look at this huge ass missile system and we don't have any th any counter to this. You find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Attempt to download the ship's data stores. Or, uh, don't risk activating it and just strip the ship for any useful scrap. So, if I succeed, if, if I succeed in number one, I will get some scrap and uh, download the rest of this... Uh, 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 um, sectors layout if I'm not mistaken so I don't want that really because I have long range scanners and there is not much left of this universe um, yeah, I, I, I okay I'll take the free scraps I think Peter McNichol no I don't think that's the name I, I, I have guys guys Uh, why is there something in this? I need a free a free field here. So 24, season 6, Tom... Tom Lennox. Yeah, that was his name. Exactly. It is Peter McNichol. You are correct. Uh, Delvin Zero. I didn't know that this, this guy's name was Peter McNichol. I'm so... I'm so dumb sometimes, guys. All right, so that this is out of the way. Back to FTL. But Devin Zero, you know your actors. Dark Nasa says, uh, "Sorry, I couldn't be there on Tuesday and yesterday, but I've been busy." It's fine, Dark Nasa. It's I'm glad that you are here now. Alpha Door Seven, Jordi Jones, no counter to a missile system. You have all the lasers. Yeah, well, the lasers can help, of course. So I will not demonstrate my weapon systems just yet. I will just take the scraps here and move on. Oh, another store! <laughs> well, okay, let's have a look what this store has in store for us. I could even afford cloaking now if you can. Wow, oh, cloaking would be so great. <laughs> FTL for the win says Heimler plays, yes. Uh, that, that's it, okay. I think, uh, although it uh, gives me the option to fill my drone slots here, that's something I might consider as well. But cloaking is so good. I, I have the scraps. I just have the scraps. So I, I'm buying it. Ta-da! Maybe repair a little bit, there you go. Mean what's going on with this with this run here? I have a Zoltan shield. I have a uh, cloaking. I have a double burst laser too. What's going on here? Dark now says also Johnny Jones tooth there. I'm the place says Johnny. Were you born under a lucky star? I don't know what's going on with FTL today. I, I cannot explain it. Sell the best laser tools and buy some drones, this Alphador 7. I know I can rely on you for good advice, Alphador 7. I will make you my personal advisor. Pazak Scots are with you, indeed, I'm that place. Abel Adel, how's it going? Thank you for, re for joining us again today. I haven't missed much, we maybe two jumps. One was three 16 scraps and the second was a second store where we found cloaking and bought it immediately. Yeah, just in time, as, uh, as Hovinal said. Okay, so let's uh, go on and proceed with the quest, the MG Homeworld quest. That's where we are in right now.
You arrive at one of the rebel bases that the NG told you about. It appears abandoned except for one scout ship. Perhaps you could extract information from them. Oh yeah, now I remember. They gave me two locations and this is the first. As soon as they see you, they power up their engines to jump away. Stop them! Okay, I have to stop. Oh, look at this. They have uh, a flag too. Burst laser too, a beam weapon and a laser. But they have only two levels of shields, so I am pretty confident that I can do something to them. Do I need the combat 2 drone out? I, we are down to six drone pilots. I think we can do without. The problem though is I need to stop them from getting away and I have to uh, hurt their, their weapon systems. Okay, I will try my best. Okay, there you go. And the heavy laser goes in there. Ah, oh, so many misses. Uh, did the did the flag shoot? No, not yet. Okay, cool. Okay, shoot again. And the heavy goes here. And the flag is incoming. We are going to dodge under that. 95% chance of evading. What? The quest is already over. Uh, not over, but this uh, this part here is already resolved. Stop! This isn't worth dying for! They hail me, so I demand information on the stolen technology. Of course, that's why you are here. Yes, they passed by here, but I had nothing to do with it. I don't know what they were carrying. I'll transmit coordinates. Now just let us go! The quest might add it to the next sector. Alright. Since I have no other choice here, I will let them go. You prepare an FTL message containing the coordinates to send to the NG and get ready to jump. No! <laughs> Seven dodges. That oh, that sound oh, oh, that felt so good. Um, Abel Adel says, Jordy Jones, you really have too much luck this run. Please, guys, don't, don't, don't say that too much here. I am going to screw that up. Um, Avramito, hello, how's it going? You say, man, FTL is worth buying even if you want to just leave it open in the background and listen to the music. I cannot, I couldn't agree more. The soundtrack of this game is exceptionally good. And uh, I personally think um, the huge success of FTL is in part due to... Um, to the wonderful soundtrack. What's going on with my with my connection? Why am I why am I dropping frames like that? Something is wrong. Sorry guys. This shouldn't happen because I don't know. I don't know. Is anything anything loading in the background? I'm I'm usually make sure that this doesn't happen. Are you guys experiencing frame drops or something? Is it is it wonky for you? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Well, let's hope it goes away. Oh, okay, it looks stable again. Uh, Alpha Door Seven says, "Jordi, I think it's Twitch. Yeah, it might be Twitch." Hey, Christy X is here. How is it going, Christy X? Thank you for joining us. Christy X, you are coming in the right moment here. This this run is insane. Look at my weapons. The weapons alone are awesome, right? right? Two burst laser tools, a heavy laser on top of that. We got a Zoltan shield. We got repaired for free at the end of Sector 3. Um, we have cloaking installed. And we are currently um, resolving the NG Homeworld quest, which will give us a huge award at the end, I hope. Uh, Dark Deadless says, stream looks fine on your end. Excellent. Stream froze for a second. Yeah, it's it's stable again. So uh, OBS says it's fine again. So it was a little hiccup. Christy X also says it's fine for me today. Uh, Avramito says, I went offline for a second there for me. Yeah, it was strange. It was strange. Something was happening. Um, we might read about that later on Twitter. On, on Twitch Twitter or something. Uh, Skymarky says I must disagree with Avramito in a way I am like I don't want to buy it because looking the stream of Jordy Jones is entertaining and more interesting than playing it. Skymarky just there is an easy answer to that just do both right? 
Miss Dice, uh, I, I, I said hello to you, alright? I hope I did. Slider 6363, there was a few drops, but it's okay now. Excellent, excellent. Dark Nasa said I had a total drop about 30 seconds ago, but it lasted only like a second. Okay. Chirocco says it's okay for you. I'm the place says go Johnny, go Johnny, go! You can do it! You can jump, fly and shoot! Doing light side stuff like suffocating the crew of an enemy ship to a slow and agonizing death. Right, okay. Uh, no, so light side, but you can still win. Ooh. <laughs> Guys, you are, you are... When, beca when became uh, um, offing baddies a dark side thing? Light side guys do this all the time. Uh, it's dropping again. It's showing me like uh, the red indicator. OBS is showing me the red indicator and I'm uploading only 600 kilobytes. Kilobits. There's something, there's something fishy going on. Christy XS Wade, I'm a bit sleepy today. Are those two burst laser twos? A Zoltan shield and the cloaking? Yes, Christy X, you are, you are correct. Are you sure you are playing on hard? This was the first thing I said during today's stream that I double checked and yes, it's hard. It's hard difficulty. Frame drops again says Mazarius. Yeah, something was and it's fine again. I don't know what's happening. Dark Nether says Skull Monkey great thing is to play while Jordy plays. This is also something. Alright, so let's try to continue the stream. I don't know. Yeah, it's wonky again, but at least I have some green phases between the red phases. So let's hope that this is good for you guys. Okay. So what do we do in this? Oh, there is another store, but we don't have any more Muncies. We, we put all our scraps into into cloaking and we have nothing to sell. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's here. Maybe there is an event. Remember guys, I also have the long range scanners installed, so if that was a fight, that it would show me. So it is either an empty jump or um, an event. So let's move over there. Maybe we get some scraps out of this jump. What is happening? You find an abandoned mining station on a nearby moon. A quick scan shows no life forms. However, you discover an usual drone schematic. Free stuff! I don't know what's happening. I'm going to uh, to get dunked um, by the flagship so hard. I can feel it. Stunts combat drones attacking your ship. That's what the anti-drone does. I think I can sell this and then maybe maybe we can afford something at the store. Hmm. No, let's not go to the lip store. I mean, I don't really want to buy anything. Maybe fuel. Well, and and the hull repair drone, if any. And he's unreal. Says hello, time. Hello, hello, time. How's it going? Thank you for joining us. Not the best drone, but free drones are always nice. Yeah, you can uh, visit visit Rix. Hello to you as well. Um, yeah, you can always sell them at stores. So I'm, that's why I'm contemplating going to the store before um, reaching the exit. Nah, <laughs> so Vinal says screw the flagship, just turn back and attack the whole rebel fleet. Good idea. <coughs> Messiah says it should be called anti-combat drone drone. Yep. Wizard Rick says my friend is even more extreme. He found four, five weapons within six sectors on his first time playing hard and said it's not that difficult. Well, we turn to him after uh, his next 100 playthroughs uh, of the hard mode and then hear what he says then. Should be sound a little bit different Wizard Rick. So guys, actually, do you want me to go to the store? I don't know what I would actually buy there other than a hull repair drone. 
Oh, and a defense drone. Yeah, we need defense drones for... I mean, we have cloaking, though. That helps with the, um, the missile system of um, the flagship as well. Ah, I'm undecided. Guys, I'm asking chat. I'm officially asking you guys. Uh, shall we visit the store or shall we go to the exit? Um, Heimdall Place says Divinity Original Sin 2 is so close to the 1.2 million mark and getting the undead playable race. Woohoo! Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to that game, Divi Divinity Original Sin. I watched two. I watched the uh, Angry Joe re uh, preview and I liked it. I liked what, what I saw. And I wonder how this will go with the four players. Um, four player co op. Two player was awesome, and well, that means four player co op should be doubly awesome, right? Rebel ships on this sector are painful. Alright, Longhoff also says go to the exit. Uh, Slider63 says uh, I take the exit. Shiroko says exit. I think you have enough stuff, perhaps. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, let's not get all funny ideas here. Let's just go to the exit before the rebel fleet catches up. What do we get here? A crew member. I could actually go with a crew member here. Look at the two NGs again. It's not like I, I don't have enough NGs. Um, but look at this. Why is uh, Debbie... Nine scraps cheaper than Lisandra, and why? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, it must. Of course, these are women. Ah. Now this what what I just said uh, became a, a bad annotation. I'm sorry, but she has more um, abilities than Lisandra. So yeah, if I were to buy another crew member, it would be Debbie. Um, am I though? Actually, four is a little... it is not so good. Wait, what? Jordi Jones? Heimdall, what? You secured a copy for me? If I want it? I don't understand. Of, of Divinity Original Sin 2? No, you're joking. Uh... Ah, an aggressive NG, what a surprise. Yeah, Battle NG, of course. I think we never succeeded in uh, in a run-through without a Battle NG. Yeah, we need that Battle NG. Welcome aboard, Debbie. And with this, of course, I ask the chat, who wants to join us? Who wants to become the Battle NG? Speak up in chat. Let me know, and I shall rename Debbie in your name. And Debbie's just a cheap girl. Lysandra has more class. <laughs> oh, you guys. The long off says, I'm willing to serve. Abel Adel says, Chiboku, I guess NGs are so aggressive because they know they are terrible weak. That makes them aggressive. Oh. Uh, I'm not okay. Hell yeah, I want it. But I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can ask this of you. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit, you know, greedy right now. And thank you, Christy X. Yes, for for the information. Nah, <laughs> don't you don't call Sarkeesian trafficking in female slaves. Hey, Stephanie is back. Hello. I'm following you on, on Twitter and seeing all your updates to DSS. By the way, uh, if I want to, uh, you know, shout out the game that Stephanie RCT is working on. But I, I oh God, I forgot what it is uh, called in full. Can you, can you help me out, Stephanie RCT? Um, DSS, I remember the abbreviation. <coughs> A cool space game that uh, Stephanie is working on. And uh, yeah, I, I want to give all the shouts out to this. And you know what, guys? Uh, I know who was the first. Who was the first? Who was the first? The Longhoff, please forgive me, but uh, I'm I'm a little bit fangirling here now. I will call Debbie Stephanie now. So. 
Uh, we could call her the staff. Is that is that is that a, a good compromise? The long half and staff. Uh, it's deep space settlement. Yes, exactly. That's what uh, um, I was looking for. Let me know in chat if if you guys are uh, okay with uh, the staff. And um, uh, I want to quickly look that up to give the link. Deep space settlements. There you go. It's a 4x RTS when it uh, comes out, and they have a, a, a very nice and clean homepage where you can look this project up. They are currently uh, in the phase of in the first phase between start of pre-orders and the first playable um, version of the game, and they uh, think they need six months for this. So yeah, give them give them a, a, a try out. Have a look at their page, and maybe you are interested in this. Uh, Heimdall Clay says, Jordi, of course you can accept that. You have given me tons of hours of entertainment. It is the least I can do. Heimdall Clay. It's a deal then. Thank you so much. It's thank you so much. Knee would be cool too. Oh, because of step the knee. Yeah, the knee is actually better than the staff because the staff isn't typed out in the game f to the fullest. So the knee. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Okay, <clears throat> so, but where do we put the battle ng actually? Uh, let them put. Let us put them uh, on on sensors because, as I said yesterday, uh, it uh, sensors level level two give uh, give. Uh, I'm a little bit out of here, out of it right now. I don't know. Again, okay, so yesterday I said um, it would be more interesting for you viewers to have level 2 sensors or at least level 1 sensors manned because then you see what's going on on the enemy ship. But also, but then again, yesterday we didn't have the burst lasers and the heavy laser, we were still trying to suffocate the enemy. That's why we actually needed to see what's going on on the, on the enemy ship. Now we just go on and destroy everything, <laughs> so it's not that interesting anymore. But it's still good to see what's going on on the other ship. So we will put you on, on sensors. Panda Vision, how is it going? And I'm not the doomed one. I'm the lucky one today, Panda Vision, I have to say. You missed out on a lot of luck that we had. <coughs> the night that says me. Me, 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 me. All right. So with that, jump to the next sector. Let's get back into the game. We will not jump to the abandoned sector. Thank you very much, FTL. We will jump to the slug controlled nebula. Oh, these slugs, they are very nefarious. Um, this inevitably, uh, let's read this. The slugs that live in this nebula field are a leisure centered civilization. Everything in slug life is done in the pursuit of more currency and more time in which to spend it on extravagant ventures. Uh, this inevitably leads to much treachery in open space. Ooh, treacherous, these slugs. So actually I want to buy um, level 2 oxygen. Is that correct? Because they are, they are big into disabling my oxygen, right? And using fire weapons on me and stuff like that. But I'm lacking four scraps, if you can believe that. Is that the end of this? Is that the end of this run? Abel Adel says, yeah, then we can see how poor rebels are lacking oxygen. Yeah, the, we, we could have, we saw that yesterday and the day before that, but now we are just destroying things. Ghibli 1983, thank you for joining us. How is it going? Okay, so there is the quest. I want to do the quest, both of them. So let's head for them immediately. Oh, this is a nebula, so sensors won't actually work here. <laughs> so we can put you on doors, the knee. 
Uh, okay, this is... Oh, whoa, whoa, they want to... Oh, look at this. Are these fire beams? I think these are actually fire beams. They had four uh, levels of shields. <clears throat> um, I think this can't hurt me. Am I right? Oh, they have... Um, they have mind control. Maybe this still helps them. I don't know. I don't even know. Let's just start working on their shields. Ah, the misses are real. So I don't want to dodge, dodge under their um, beams yet. I want just just to know whether or not they can actually hurt me. There you go. That's how you work on level 4 shields. Nice. I like my evasion rates. Why are they not taking over peeps? Oh, because of the um, uh, of my Zoltan shield. I see. Ah, now they they ta they've taken over the knee. That is a good way to you know introduce yourself to the crew. We need more willpower. We need more willpower. So okay, <clears throat> we will use Dengsta to um, oppose the knee in just a moment. Yeah, they have fire in the shields. We can't see that right now, but that's what's happening. Okay, I want to actually make sure that I destroy mind control so that the knee can be with us again. And with the heavy laser, I want to do damage to piloting. Oh, that actually was enough. Oh man, this weapon layout, it's so, it's so crazy. The slug ship breaks apart and your systems return to normal. You collect what you can. 44 scraps! Fuel and a missile. Nice. We'll do my best, sir. That's that's the only that's the only thing that I expect from you. Johnny Jones, this isn't the end, just the beginning of something new. Says I'm that place. Um, Zai says, can you dodge the beams? No, beams always hit. Um. Ow! Oh, I I now I know what you what you were talking about. I think. Uh, what happens is ye you cannot dodge the beams, but you can prevent them from shooting because they don't have a target. So they will just stop what they are doing. But then when you come out of your cloak, then they start shooting immediately. Messiahs. Alrighty. Uh, I like how uh, 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 the knee went so soft on, on our senses that we could actually uh, rescue her out of uh, out of the uh, mind control before she completely destroyed the senses. That was very uh, thoughtful of you, Stephanie. I have to say. Alright, let's get to the quest as fast as possible. We bought us cloaking for 150 scraps and we don't even need it because our uh, offense, offense is so so good. Uh, a slug captain hails and invites himself aboard your ship to present a flask of something slimy. Now, most gracious captain, you must join me, please, in a drink to our alliance. Ah, uh, yeah, I know he's 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 a treacherous bastard, so I refuse. The fl uh, the slug feigns offense at your refusal, but you sense that he respects your caution. This does not, however, prevent him from returning to his ship and opening fire. Well. See how what I care or how I care. Okay, we will again um, focus the shields and but the heavy laser will go for their weapons. Whoa! Did you see how much I missed there? But they are missing as well. That's cool. Okay, the Zoltan shield is gone. I better succeed now. Aha! Nice. By the way, the knees uh, right now pretty useless over there, so bolster the doors instead. Uh, tap, tap. Do this again. Thank you. Nice! That was a breach. You can't see it, but I heard it. Nice. 
Well, I'd say this ship does not have long to live. Ooh, you have bested us. Will you accept what is this in our stores in exchange for our lives? We will not accept surrender. I don't need your bio beam. Which isn't the best outcome. Um, if they actually give you something good, they give you the bio beam. I think. And um, this sells for 25, 30 maybe? So it would have been a little bit better. Because they also give you a lot of a little bit of scraps. But I get a drone part. This is what we are looking for. And I'm down to six fuel. Can you guys remember at the start I was up to like 38? 38 fuel and now I'm down to six. Heimdall Place is still a bit bummed about the news of XCOM 2 getting delayed until 2016. But we get a better game, I hope. Well, yes, two things about this. I'm generally uh, not that in a hurry. Uh, to get to a new game. That gives me also more time to complete my XCOM The Ship more playthrough. Ha ha ha. And the second thought is uh, we do not only get just a month like it was before, like November 2015 was the first date they, they gave, uh, but they also give a, a specific date, a specific day, February, February the 5th. So that seems a little bit more set in stone than it was before. So I'm actually not surprised that they delayed it. And it can only be better. Uh, what, Steph? You have anger is issues? Well, I wasn't... Well, I didn't want to say it here out loud, but now that you are saying it, well, okay. I mean, okay, I'm on door now, Bebop. Yeah, we, we like your... Uh, we know about your... Um, Infatuations. Is that how you say it? How you are inf How you are infatuated with these drones? Ah, uh, oh my god. I, when I'm talking to you, I, I, I forget all the name, all the, all the vocabularies. All the words. It's so hard! <laughs> Stephanie said, I said no I don't. Hmm, I must have overlooked that, Stephanie. I'm sorry. Okay, so. That was a good outcome. Uh, in before Jordy dies to rebels after running out of fuel. If I if I screw that up because I'm running out of fuel, then I will jump out of the window, Christy X. But before I move on, I actually want to improve oxygen and get me some um, energy. Yeah, I forgot about that. So if we need the combat one round for for whatever reason, we can we can we can get the energy. Okay, on to the quest. <laughs> Heimdall, <laughs> great pun there. Heimdall the punner, or Heimdall pun is back, saying, Stephanie, haha, you are so dorky. <laughs> ah, nice. So, you arrive at one of the rebel bases that the NGs told you about. It appears abandoned except for one scout ship. Perhaps you could extract information from them. We will see. As soon as they see you, they power up their engines to jump away. Stop them! Oh look, they have a Vulcan installed. That's so cute. Unfortunately, that Vulcan takes too long. Way too long. Alright, we will do this. And this. Ah oh, no! I can't. I can't allow them to get away. So I have to center everything on piloting now. Come on! One, one hit at least. Come on, guys. Do I need my my combat drone? I think I want my combat drone now. I can't let them get away with this. And it's getting close to them getting away. So. I can need, I need all the offensive power, yes! And the breach! Excellent, excellent. So now it's time to bring that uh, Vulcan offline. It's high time to do this. Oh. Whew. Okay. Because it was getting into its groove, you know? Like... Pew, 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 pew. You, you could actually make a, a good uh, music, a good song over that. 
that rhythm. Stop, I don't want to die! They sent me. Demand information on the stolen technology. Ah, so that's what you are after. Two bats. You followed the wrong ship. The envoy that passed through here was a fake to trick fools like you. Now let us go. Ignore him, man. No, no, no. Let them go. Of course. I let them go. Although they insulted me. What? That Vulcan got through my shield somehow. As a last F you, so to speak. Well, oh, Darkstar got hit. So let's uh, heal Darkstar up and then we are on our way. Uh, Heimdall Play said, uh, can fuel ship with his high octane personality. Johnny's so fueled right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, I want to say that you guys are on the right track in the chat. Pre never pre order, if you can. Um, I actually. I did not really pre order the, the Witcher 3, but uh, I accepted a pre order code. So that's the only thing I ever pre-ordered. Always wait when something comes out. I even... <clears throat> this, I think also that it goes for uh, early access titles a little bit. Um, I actually have the discipline and I'm proud for that. Uh, to wait for a dark, the Darkest Dungeons release. I haven't played the game at once. And I'm so stoked for it coming out finally with its in its release form. Uh, I, I'm uh, you know frequent frequenting their um, their homepage almost daily, and uh, yeah, so many good updates are coming out during this. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Abel Edel says, "Du kannst sonst auch Deutsch sprechen, wenn dir die Wörter in Englisch nicht einfallen." Yeah, usually, I uh, usually I know the words. But, you know, I'm so nervous. Stephanie is making me nervous. And I'm telling you guys, if I'm screwing this up, it's Stephanie's fault. Alright, so. Dark TV is uh, healed up again. Let's save uh, the locations of my crew so far. Actually, now that we are not into the in the nebula, we could uh, put the knee back onto uh, sensors. But we are about to re-enter the nebula. Okay. Then stay at doors. <clears throat> okay, we want to get to that quest before we leave. Um, but we can take that um, that fight here with us in the next to the next jump. The next jump after the next.